I am in the need for some new kendamas. Let's see. Let's see. Analog kendamas, maybe? Oh, wait. What's this? What's Amazon? Maybe I can... Maybe there's some kendamas on here. I mean, I was going to go to analog, but... Check this out at least. Let's search Kendama. Wait. Are you kidding me? What? What is Alpha Kendama? What is this? What is this? Are. Excuse Excuse me? Um, what is that? Please, someone tell me. All right, that's, that's a little bit weird, I guess. Um, just keep going here. Next page, maybe? Maybe we got something better. Um, are you kidding me? What is this? Wait, hold on a sec. What is this? Look at this. It's 30 bucks. Who would pay 30 bucks for this? Are you kidding? All right. Th this is this is ridiculous, honestly. What what is happening here? Oh. Looks like we're recording. Might as well make a video about this, I guess, because this is crazy. Um that was a super cringy intro, but today we're going to be checking out Amazon and all the terrible offers that Amazon has with Kendamas. So basically, if you go into Amazon, you search up Kendama, what comes up is a bunch of Kendama USA's first, which, I mean, Kendama USA isn't a terrible company, and I guess you could buy one from Amazon, but just as I showed in the intro there, what are these? These look like... Just cheap, really mass-produced, cheap kendamas that are selling for shoot, super cheap here, like five bucks. This is literally five bucks for a kendama. Insane, insane, five bucks. Um, let's keep going through here and see what other crazy things we can find and how cheap they can get. Um, still don't know why those are 30 bucks. Ooh, we got a kendama Canada represent Canada here um, don't buy these that's what I'm trying to say in the beginning of this video please don't buy these um, just it's just too much to handle what is this what is this are you kidding me 18 bucks for that 18 bucks for this I wow just wow Literally, I mean, there's some good kanamas here, like, oh, wait. Are you kidding me? Look at this, guys. So I was going to say, there's some good kanamas here. Um, like a TJ Kolsnick Pro model from Konami USA. It's a good kanama. Lots of people in the kanama community use it. But I'm going to click on this, and you're going to see the price here. Look at this. It is $133. We go to Konami USA. All right, so I accidentally stopped my recording, but as I was saying, we go to Konami USA here. We're gonna go to the shop. I don't even know if they have TJ mods. I'm guessing they do, but keep in mind that that one at Amazon was $133 for a TJ Kolsnick Pro model. Let's see, TJ Kolsnick, $40. Look at this. Same Konami, $40 on here from Konami USA, $133. On Amazon I don't get it I just I don't get it guys it's it is crazy how some of these can be super cheap like the mass-produced ones like that $5 one I showed you but then the nice ones from Konami USA and like sweets they're like way overpriced way overpriced um, I'm gonna find another example of this if we search up sweets Konamas I gotta make sure not to put a space. All right, sweets kanamas. Let's see if we can find any. All right. Are you, look at this. This is insane. Are you kidding me? This is probably not new to some of you guys, but it, it just blows my mind that these can be selling for this much on Amazon. 
Um, I, first off, I hope no one buys these um, because first off, even though this isn't sold anymore, it's definitely not worth $150, this marble from Sweets. Back in the day, um, I, my, that was my brother's first Kanama was one of these, a different color. It was probably 30 bucks, maybe even less. Let's see what we have on the next page. Any more sweets? Um, this one's actually accurate. Prime solid blue, 25 bucks. This one is not accurate. Look at this. An F3 apparently is being sold for $82. Are you kidding me? This is $100 for a marble. What? This is the most insane part right here. There is a Sweets Kanama string pack. Five strings for 60 bucks. This one is five strings for 70 bucks. Keep in mind that's Canadian, so you guys watching in the US, it's a little bit lower. Um, but still, 70 bucks for five strings. This is so, so stupid. All right, I think I'm getting the point across that I'm trying to get across here, but basically don't buy these from Amazon. They are, um, just don't, please don't. Um, if you're starting out in Kendama, I suggest actually going to the site if you're gonna buy a Kusa, a Sweets, or better yet, go to this site right here. Type in this little word right here, analog Kendamas. Check out these. These are great quality Kendamas. Look, you can get a bamboo complete for only $28. I don't mean to turn this into an advertisement, but it's honestly true. Look, $28 for that. On here, you pay 28 bucks for these right here. More than 28. Those, this right here. Are you kidding me? All right, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to get this point across. If you have a friend or you're starting out in Kendama, I suggest not going to Amazon and just searching up Kendama because I feel like that's a thing lots of people do. But you can get such higher quality Kendamas. Like if you buy one of these cheap ones, it's not gonna be a good Kanama at all. Just the shape is gonna be terrible. You're not even gonna be able to like learn pretty much anything. You'll be able to do the basics, but once you wanna get into harder tricks like lunars and stuff like that, the slippery paint, the bad lunar balance, it's gonna make it super hard. So do yourself a favor, buy a real Kanama, analog Kanamas, or if you want anywhere else, um, just anywhere but here really. Um, even if, there is a Konami here that is like an, a Kusa that sells for the same price it would on Konami USA. Probably you should buy it from Konami USA because you gotta support the Konami scene, you know? Don't be buying this stuff from Amazon. And I feel like this video is kind of harsh, but it's kind of true at the same time. Um, lots of bad Konamis are being sold on here and luckily I didn't make a mistake of buying one from here because that would have wasted a lot of money because they're overpriced. And then some of them that are mass produced are just super cheap, really bad quality. So that's gonna do it for this video. I just kind of wanted to make this at something a little bit different, but like I said, don't go to Amazon, don't search up Kanama. Um, you can search up Kanama and look at these crazy prices, but I recommend not buying one. I highly and strongly recommend not buying one from Amazon. Um, but yeah, that's gonna do it for this video. Hopefully you guys liked it um like i said something different than i usually do but hopefully you liked it if you did like it make sure to leave a like down below make sure to subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video peace